made it all the way to Virginia and uh, I'm gonna do a new section of the Blackwater Creek Trail here uh, and uh, let's read this sign real quick much of the Blackwater Creek Trail system follows the old rail bid of the Virginia and Tennessee Railroad the first railroad to reach Lynchburg in 1856 Irish immigrants and enslaved laborers did most of the work to build the line in June 1864, Union General Ulysses S. Grant ordered General David Hunter to attack Lynchburg and destroy the Southern Supply Base and Railroad Network. Hunter placed uh, General Alfred N. A. Duffy and 4,000 cavalrymen on the hills on the opposite side of the trestle in front of you. Confederate General John Tiger John Mus Mus Musculin held this side with 18,000 men and artillery on the hills to the east. Duffy was never able to overcome the steep terrain or Confederate forces and retreated the night of June 18th, leaving Lynchburg and the railroad trestle intact. After the Civil War, railroads helped Lynchburg recover economically. Coal, shoes, and tobacco were among the cargo. The last railroad to use this trestle was Norfolk and Southern, which began donating unused rail beds to the city of Lynchburg in 1983 this gift created an award-winning trail network you visited today. This is the Blackwater Creek Trail System with the opening in the bridge. And so we're getting ready to do, they were working on this the last time I was here in Lynchburg. And this is a new section of the, of the, the paved trail. I'm just out for a brief hike today. Now uh, I'm gonna make some, some more videos or actually maybe tack it onto, well, we'll tack some onto this video because uh, there's a whole network of trails down here in the woods that I have not filmed uh, the last time I was here. I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, let's, let's get going. I'll get another video when we get on this bridge up here. Got onto it. Man, they did one hell of a job on this thing. This is a, this is a hell of a piece of construction. Look at this. Wow. This bridge is going to last a mighty long time. Look, the cable over here. This is uh, going over top of the road down here. Langhorn Road. Uh, we'll just get the, uh, the film of the whole bridge. I guess they're worried about people jumping off. Man, they got these screens going way up. <laughs> You'd be hard-pressed to climb over that to kill yourself. Although you could jump, I guess, right here. Well, you, yeah, of course you might hit the water down there. That might save you. <laughs> There's the road over here. But this is uh, this is part of the Blackwater Creek Trail. I can't wait to see how far this goes. Hey, Lynchburg, I've talked about this many times. Be nice if you put a parking lot right there. Right there, that sure would be nice. That, that, that thing's remained vacant for as long as I can remember. Now, I don't know who owns that building, but... I bet they wouldn't mind donating or letting you buy a little land to put a parking lot right there for the trail. But let's keep on going. All right, got another sign coming up. We'll get that on the video. <laughs> Not the hike you expect. I, didn't, I knew they were working on this, but man, this is really beautiful. This is a wonderful addition to the Blackwater Creek Trail. Let's see. Connected. Okay, that's a different sign. Let's read this one. The Virginia and Tennessee Railroad connected Lynchburg to Bristol, Tennessee in 1856 and was built with enslaved Irish and immigrant labor. Originally hauling iron ore, grain, and salt to eastern markets, the rails moved troops and supplies during the Civil War. The original Forest Road crossed the railroad here and ran through what is today the Lincoln School Grounds. During the Battle of Lynchburg in June 18th, Unit General was ordered to attack this road. Yeah, this is kind of the... Quite, rest of this we've already read. There's the Petersburg trestle, similar to the Ivy Creek trestle. Dismounted Union cavalry in a fight. Workers straightening bent rails. And I didn't read this one live. The trestle over Ivy Creek was rebuilt many times since 1864 with Norfolk and Southern, the last active line. We already read that. So let's get going. You can see Lynchburg's uh, using the trail. They, I'll, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat encouraged. I'm not seeing like, well, well, I guess when I was here a year ago, a little over a year ago, uh, everybody outdoors had masks on. And, uh, you know, we're right here in Virginia, right next to the Fachi guy. <laughs> hey, Fachi, look here in Lynchburg. 
You know, they don't have masks on. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. You better come down to Lynchburg, Fauci. It's not too far for you to drive from Washington, D.C. I'd say about uh, three, and, well, with traffic now, you might be looking at four or five hours to get here. You know, bring your, bring the FBI. You know, while they're arresting parents in, in school board meetings, you need to come here and uh, arrest people for not wearing masks outside. Here we go. This, boy, I wonder how long this trail's gonna go. This is gonna be great. We're in middle school. We've hiked up to here. Boy, it sure didn't seem like a long hike. Because when I come at it from the, there's a big hill on the other side over there. It feels like a long hike. But uh, just kind of looking back on the trail, you know, one of the good things is I hit Lynchburg right when the leaves are turning. So I'm going to get to enjoy fall here. And I'm going to get back to Florida a bit sooner than I planned before we take off on the next leg of the journey. And I, uh, that's, I gotta take care of the dog. So I'm kind of limited in where I can go with the dog, but uh, I think it might end, the trail might end right up here. Let's see what we got. So if you've been standing here on June 18th, 1864, you would have been in a Civil War battle with cannon shells bursting and bullets whizzing around you. Union General Lucius S. Grant had sent General David Hunter to attack Lynchburg and destroy Confederate supplies while most of the combat during the Battle of Lynchburg took place along today's Ford Avenue. General, the rest of this I'll let you read on your own. It's kind of repeating the same thing that we've read ago, but at least you get a good picture. There's uh, General uh, Alfred N.A. Duffy from the Library of Congress, and here's General John McClauslin. And uh, so this is kind of a picture. I don't know if I got that on the video last time, a picture of the battle. But I guess you could say Lynchburg has taken care of its uh, parking problem because that was, I guess that's what this extension of the trail, so you can park here at Langhorn School to get on the trail and there's plenty of parking here. <laughs> that's for sure. So, so anyway, let's head on back. Video, got a deer coming up. Or no, that's a fox. Oh man, he took off. Uh, I don't know if I can, I'll try to, there's a deer, there's a deer, look at that. I got that one. So maybe we'll get some more video of them. By the way, the other day I was hiking the Baseline Park there down in Florida. And uh, I walked, I mean, uh, it's kind of bad in a way. There he is, right there he is. If we get him, get him, get him. See the tail? They're, they're heading off into the forest. Getting, let's see if we can whip around here. There we go. I got him on the video now. Oh, three of them. Look at that. They're all looking at me. Hey, guys. How y'all doing? Yeah, they're moving off. Well, anyway, I was telling you the baseline story. So I was, uh, I'm sitting there and I'm hiking along. And uh, like I said, this is getting bad. I, I honestly think I could have pet the deer. I got within about three feet of this deer. He was kind of, you know, looking at me a little bit, you know, but uh, I didn't have my camera along. I would have loved to have gotten him. That's the closest I've ever been to a deer that was still alive <laughs> in my lifetime. <laughs> but I, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't want to threaten him, you know, so I didn't walk over to see if I could pet him, you know, that, plus that would be bad, you know, I mean, but I mean, that, like I said, that's bad and good. I mean, if they don't have any natural fear of, of you know, men, you know, they're, they're ripe for the picking for a hunter, you know, and that's, uh, uh, you know, and that's, and that's not a, get the, the reason that I, I care about that is, uh, you know, it's one thing to shoot an animal and eat it that is, uh, you know, you know, doing everything it can to survive and, and knows you as a threat, you know, because, and that's a, that's a conquest for a hunter, you know, because the hunter has to stalk that deer or sit in there blind and, uh, you know, and if the deer catches any, any scent of them, it takes a lot of skill, let's just put it that way. That's the thrill of the hunt, is the skill involved. You know, these idiots that want to go out and bait deer and, uh, and just shoot them, uh, you know, the, and, or, you know, bring them into a trap and kill them that way, or, or even take down a deer that's not even, uh, does, doesn't know you as a, as a, a threat. Uh, to me, that's not hunting, you know. Uh, so that deer, you know, yeah, you know, if I'd had some, something along, I could have just shot it and taken it home and eaten it. But that's, you know, that's not right. Unless, you know, I'm starving to death, I guess, you know, and then it's me or him. But, uh, you know, I, but I said, I'm sorry to see the deer had no, no natural, uh, uh, what do I want to say, fear 
of, of, of people, you know. All right, that's it. You guys peace out. Have a good one. That's future videos. So I am going to come back. Get the camera adjusted there. Uh, while I'm here in Lynchburg, uh, maybe tomorrow, who knows? Now I might probably go out to Liberty Mountain tomorrow because that's a better, better hike. Uh, but you can kind of see these trails right here go all through the, the forest back here, all the way out to, um, oh gosh, damn, I want to say the Blackwater Creek Recreational Area. Or, I, I, I think that's what it's called. I'll get it when I get there. We've been there on a previous video, I think. But this goes down by the, uh, the creek, and uh, we'll, we'll go and hike all through here. You can see it's quite beautiful. Uh, Lynchburg uh, it has preserved some of its uh, territory. I also want to get a video of that area where they were doing construction the last time I was here just to see what that looks like now. It's been a year year ago uh, that they you know destroyed. I mean, can you imagine these majestic trees? They had taken them all down. You know, hopefully they turned them into lumber, but that's hundreds of years for a tree like that to grow, you know. And we take it down in, in what, a, a day, you know. But, uh, but we'll hike all around back in here. Just like to advertise future videos. Peace out. It's a little, ops, it's a little observation area here on, along the, the trail. I don't know if I got this on the last video or not. But I did want you to kind of see as the sun sets uh, how the leaves are turning. And we'll get that as the, as the time goes on before I have to head back to Florida. And... Uh, but there's a, we'll be hiking along that creek, uh, and I'll get some video down there. Um, let's get the other side. Uh, another thing that I'm, I'm going to have to start tacking on to the videos, because I'm going to head on back at this point, <laughs> is uh, I guess I'll just have to say this in the videos, just in case you, you do find me somehow. YouTube uh, has me so far buried because I'm a conservative in the algorithm. I, you know, I got to my mom's house, and I wanted her to see some of my videos. So I searched on my channel, you know, that cybersecurity guy, all one word, and uh, it didn't, I couldn't, it didn't even bring up one of my videos, not one, it didn't bring up my channel, didn't bring up a, a single one of my videos. So uh, YouTube's got me buried, man. The, uh, the only way I know to tell you to find me is use DuckDuckGo as a, as, a, as a search engine, and if you search on that cybersecurity guy, all one word, uh, it used to bring up some of my videos and then when you click on the video that'll take you to my channel where you can subscribe if you want um, so if you're watching this on rumble and you want to see me on youtube because i do have a lot more videos on youtube than i have on rumble but i am in the process of getting the youtube videos over rumble and or if you know somebody that's trying to find the channel and you know you can't use the youtube search you're not going to pull up anything uh, so that's uh just throwing that out all right peace out I have a little bit of light here and I, I want to tack this on before I forget because if you do come to Lynchburg and you want to hike the uh, this is the Blackwater Creek Trail um, the parking requirements for the uh, uh, Langhorn uh, Middle School there uh, is that they don't want you parking there when school's coming in and the buses are coming in and the parents are bringing the kids to school and they don't want you parking there and when school's letting out but uh, and so from what I understand, you can park there any other time. Now, I'd probably just stay away from there during the day too. So, you know, so be good for evening parkings and on, you know, after 4.30 and on the weekends, if you did want to park at the uh, Langhorn Middle School, which is better than not at all. Uh, and perhaps during the day while the kids are in school and the buses aren't moving. Uh, but then you got to time it. You know, you'd have to get back to your car before, uh, you know, the buses start moving about three o'clock. I don't think, you know, when I'm out, I never know when I'm going to get back to the car. All right, that's it. Just wanted to, to let you know. Anybody visiting Lynchburg, that's what you need to know. In case you're wondering, because these were boarded up the last time I was here, the bathrooms are open here at the Blackwater Creek Trail in Lynchburg, Virginia. I'm surprised uh, they're open right now because there's nobody here and it's getting dark. Uh, yeah, this is kind of a waste. Uh, that I see in a lot of cities, you know. That's a lot of electricity for no reason. Um, but I mean, you know, it's good to know they're here. So if, you, if I had an emergency, I could just <laughs> fly up in here and use these bathrooms uh, even in the evening, it looks like. All right, that's, that's it.